Hello, creative ones. It's Michelle Brown here, creative director at MixedMediaArt.net, and I wanted to share one of my favorite new products with you, which is the Crafters Workshop Stencil Butter. It is such a fantastic way of adding layers to your mixed media art. It's creamy, it's rich, it's shiny and simmery. So let's jump in and look at some samples and how to use it. So the stencil butter comes in these really cute little tubs. They are just adorable. The lids are so easy to get off and you can see it's a really thick, shiny, shimmery paste. Now here's just a few colors. It actually comes in over 20 colors. So somewhere near this video, there'll be a link to the Mixed Media Art Studio online store. And there you can see all of them. So we've got pinks and greens and bronzes and every color you could think of. So here's an example of the purple that I've put. Now this is the um, orchard purple. I've put it through a stencil and you can just see, can I get the light to go? It's just got the most amazing shimmer in it. It is just beautiful. And like I said, for adding layers, it really does add that extra dimension. And here's one that's come out of my junk journal. I've punched it for the disc binding there. And you can see again, just how amazing that shimmer is through the stencils. So let's have a play. Now, these is on over here. So I've got a palette knife, but the other thing you can use is sort of an old stall card or a credit card. This one I've just folded in half because that's so easier to get into the container. The full size one won't quite fit. So what I wanted to do first is on this little piece of gel printing, it's interesting, but it's not interesting enough. So I'm gonna add a few more circles. So this is one of my favorite Art by Marlene stencils and I'm gonna pop it on here. Now I'm not going to mask it down, you certainly could look at doing that. I'm just going to hold it firmly and I'm going to use the purple for this one. So with the end of the credit card, I'm just going to get the tiniest little bit out on the end, hold it firmly and then just swish it through. Now similar to any sort of volume paste or texture paste, you can put this through any sort of stencil, but some seem to work better than others. You just need to sort of get into the habit of holding it firmly moving it lightly across and you can see where it's going and where it's not so you can always add a bit more feather out the ends and you really don't waste much because you're really picking up everything that's sitting on the stencil and putting it back in and then if you've had enough and there's a little bit left over because we're not going to contaminate colors i'm going to put that back in make sure i've got that lid back on firmly and then you can wipe that with a baby wipe or i've got some water here I'm going to sit that in and clean it up. So again, we want to put that stencil really carefully, lifting it straight up, setting it aside because that stencil is still wet. And then we can see that it's ready to go. We just got to set that aside to dry. So we've got some interesting layers there on top of our gel printing. So that stencil, you can use it a few times until it starts getting a bit mucky. Once you've got the stencil butter under it you really do want to stop and clean it off and start again but there you go so you can certainly line up and get a few done at a time so here I've got a piece of ephemera I've got one of my favorite stencils which is a Vicky P stencil by Stampera again you're available in the mixed media art studio online store so we get this green one this is a terra verite just the most amazing green so again just a little bit it's easier to sort of add more, like a lot of things with mixed media, less is more. Um, this took me a little bit to get the hang of. Again, some stencils seem to work better than others and it's really easy to kind of smush it under and you just end up with a mess. So you just wanna do some practicing on some pieces of ephemera, so nothing important before you do it straight into your journal or straight onto a piece. A little bit more. Hold it firmly and then just keep moving it around. And again, you don't waste any that's lying on top. You just move it around, get it filling those holes. Some of those stencils, just spacing, you need to go both ways and just take care around the bigger ones because that's where, <clears throat> if you're not careful, you can sort of push it under the stencil and make a mess. And that's always the challenging with stencils, whether you're using paint or inks or some sort of medium. Less really is more. You're better off to build it up as you go rather than getting too much. And once it's under the stencil, there's nothing worse because you really can't save it. Then it's pretty much ruined or, you know, just a little bit different. So again, carefully without moving the stencil, putting the lid back on. I'll do any of the scrape off. Not really. 
So I probably wouldn't do that with a paintbrush, but something like a palette knife or a credit card works really well. So again, lifting that straight up so not to smudge it. Putting that straight into the water or giving it a wipe once you've finished it. And there we go. Some gorgeous, really grungy sort of looking. I love that stencil. It's got letters and numbers peeking out, but they're not too defined. And it really is such a great way for adding that interest. And it really does sit on top of your layers as well. So regardless of what colour you like, like I said, there'll be a link somewhere near that video. So you can go in and check out all the 20 colours and then start having a play with whatever stencils you have. So I hope you've enjoyed that look at using the stencil butters. Again, in mixed media, it's just nothing like having something else that we could add layers with. It gives our stencils another whole lease of life. It adds that beautiful colour and shimmer to it. It doesn't take long to dry, sort of 20 to 30 minutes. Again, depending on environment, it's sunny here in Australia at the moment, so it doesn't take too long to dry. But certainly make sure it is dry before you continue on with your art journaling or you close your book over. So for all more, any more information and for all the details, head over to our website, mixedmediaart.net. If you're looking for the store, just click on the shop now and it will send you over to Mixed Media Art Studios and you can check out all of the gorgeous stenciling, butter, stencil, butter colours with the Crafters Workshop. So this is Michelle signing off. I hope you have a crafty day.